if you are going on a trip to Australia and are wondering what to bring home as a souvenir for your friends and family, you've found the right video. What's up you guys? My name is Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Most of my content revolves around food, fitness, and fun. So if that's anything that you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm currently making a series of videos about my most recent solo backpacking trip to Australia. So I thought I would jump in and make a quick one about the souvenirs that I brought home for my friends and family from my trip. First up, I love to collect stuffed animals. So I knew that in Australia, I definitely had to get at least one stuffed animal. So say hi to Chloe the koala. I bought Chloe um, in a gift shop right around Circular K in Sydney. So super, super cute. It was 30 Australian dollars. So that's maybe like 21 US dollars, something like that. Not too bad. Love a good stuffed animal. So this one is one that I brought home. I also got Kylie the kangaroo, tiny little one that says I love Australia. Here's a size comparison between the two. So you could clearly tell this one is for cuddling, whereas this one is more for just sitting on like my desk or my countertop. I brought home some snacks from the supermarket. These I would recommend instead of buying them in a gift shop, honestly, just go to Woolworths or any sort of supermarket that you see in Australia. Some Tim Tams, I got the normal ones, as well as some salted caramel ones because I love caramel. And then I was just walking around the supermarket and tried to buy a few snacks that I thought were interesting, things that I've never seen in the US. So brought home a bag of Mars pods, which look quite tasty actually. I'm gonna eat these later with my friends. And obviously some Cadbury chocolates. These are not super common in the US, so definitely wanted to bring these home. Got a bag of curly, really squirrelies. So besides the food and the stuffed animals, something that I got that I could give to many of my different friends was I got a pack of these Koala Australian keychains, actually. I was able to get a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six of them for eight Australian dollars, which is perfect. They come in all these different colors. It's a koala, then there's an Australia um, symbol in the middle, and I'm pretty sure that these are also bottle openers, actually. So lovely, lovely, beautiful keychains. Got a pack of six of these so I could give to my coworkers, as well as these koala clips. These are actually quite popular. You'll see them in packs of anywhere between 10, 12, 15, something like that, 14, sorry. They come in an even number because they clip to each other, but you can remove them just like this. And because they're a clip, you can either put it on your finger, put it on your shirt, put it on your bag, on your pencil, anything like that. I chose these little cute guys that have boomerangs and they have a little vest that says Australia on them. So I thought this was a great souvenir because I could give them out super easily to any friends, family, coworkers, things like that. So we definitely recommend all of these. See, I have a ton more. Anyway, with that being said, super quick video. Just wanted to give you an idea of some souvenirs that you should look out for once you get to Australia. So that way you could be purchasing things to bring home memories of your awesome trip. So I have a bunch of more Australia videos coming as well as one already up on my channel. So if traveling Australia is anything that you're interested in, be sure to check out those other videos and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new ones coming out. If you have any questions about Australia in general, traveling, solo backpacking, definitely leave me a comment down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram over here at live like Lex. Although I've only done one solo backpacking trip, I've gone super recently, so everything is quite fresh in my head. So hopefully it can help you out. Otherwise, maybe I can direct you to more resources to give you some of that info that you may need. So with that being said, I hope you have an awesome day. If you're going to Australia, I hope you have an awesome trip and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.